Welcome to our video about the comparison of the world's most legendary fighter jets, the F-16 Falcon and the MiG-29. These aircraft have been the subject of countless debates over the years, with aviation enthusiasts and military experts alike weighing in on which is superior. Today, we're going to delve into the details and compare these two iconic aircraft in terms of their design, performance, and capabilities. So get ready to discover which fighter jet comes out on top. Let's begin with their historical background. F-16 Fighter Jet The F-16, also known as the Fighting Falcon, is a single-engine supersonic fighter jet designed and produced by General Dynamics, or recently known as Lockheed Martin. The story of the F-16 began in the early 1970s when the U.S. Air Force was seeking a lightweight, cost-effective, and maneuverable aircraft to replace its aging fleet of fighter jets. As a result, General Dynamics developed the F-16, which made its first flight in January 1974. Its design was based on a small, highly maneuverable aircraft with a low weight-to-thrust ratio, giving it an exceptional acceleration and turning ability. It was also equipped with advanced avionics, including a head-up display and a fly-by-wire flight control system, which allowed the pilot to control the aircraft with precision. The F-16 was put into service with the U.S. Air Force in 1979 and quickly proved to be a capable fighter jet. Since then, the F-16 has been used in various conflicts around the world, including the Gulf War, Kosovo War, and the War on Terror. Over the years, it has undergone several upgrades to keep it relevant and competitive with newer aircraft. Today, it remains a vital part of the U.S. Air Force's fleet, as well as the Air Forces of many other countries, and has been used in both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground combat roles. MiG-29 The MiG-29, also known as Fulcrum, is a twin-engine air superiority fighter jet designed and produced by the Mikoyan Design Bureau in the Soviet Union. It was developed in the late 1970s as a response to the US F-15 and F-16 fighter jets and took its first flight on October 6, 1977. The MiG-29 was designed to be a high-performance aircraft with exceptional maneuverability and advanced avionics. It was also equipped with a powerful engine and armament. The aircraft's capabilities were showcased at the 1986 Farnborough Air Show, where it performed a series of impressive maneuvers. The MiG-29 entered service with the Soviet Air Force in 1983 and was quickly exported to other countries, including India, Syria, and Iraq. It saw its first combat action during the Soviet-Afghan War in the 1980s and was also used in conflicts in Yugoslavia, Iraq, and Syria. Over the years, the MiG-29 has undergone several upgrades and variants, including the MiG-29S, which had improved avionics and weapon systems, and the MiG-29K, which was designed for aircraft carriers. Today, the MiG-29 remains in service with several air forces around the world and is still considered a formidable fighter jet. Now let's move on to their comparison. Number 1. Dimensions and Weight The dimensions of both fighter jets are quite similar, with the F-16 measuring 16.1 feet and the MiG-29 measuring 15.5 feet in height. However, the F-16 falls short about 6 feet in terms of length and wingspan, measuring roughly 49 feet and 32 feet, respectively, while the MiG-29 measures 56 feet in length and a wingspan of 37 feet. In terms of weight, the MiG-29 is heavier than its rival, with a maximum takeoff weight of 45,000 pounds and an empty weight of 20,000 pounds, while the F-16 has a maximum takeoff weight of 42,000 pounds and an empty weight of 18,000 pounds. However, the F-16 has a slightly larger fuel capacity, ranging from 7,000 to 12,000 pounds, and the MiG-29 ranging from 6,000 to 9,000 pounds, depending on the variants. These differences could have an impact on the aircraft's maneuverability, range, and mission capabilities. Number 2. Engine and Performance The MiG-29 is equipped with two powerful turbofan engines, each producing up to 19,800 pounds of thrust, or 39,600 pounds in total. This gives the aircraft an impressive thrust-to-weight ratio and allows it to achieve a top speed of Mach 2.25 at high altitudes. 
It is also capable of super cruise, which means it can sustain supersonic flight without using afterburners, which conserves fuel and extends its range. The F-16, on the other hand, is powered by a single turbofan engine that produces up to 29,000 pounds of thrust. This gives the aircraft a lower thrust-to-weight ratio than the MiG-29, but it is still a highly capable fighter jet. The F-16 has a top speed of around Mach 2 at high altitudes, but it is not capable of super cruise. In terms of acceleration, the MiG-29 has a higher rate of climb than the F-16. The F-16 can climb at a rate of around 50,000 feet per minute, while the MiG-29 has a maximum climb rate of around 65,000 feet per minute. Number 3. Maneuverability Both the MiG-29 and F-16 are known for their excellent maneuverability, but there are some differences between the two aircraft. The MiG-29 was specifically designed to be a highly maneuverable fighter jet, with a thrust-to-weight ratio that allows it to accelerate quickly and perform tight turns. Its wing design and high lift-to-drag ratio also give it exceptional agility at both low and high speeds. Additionally, the MiG-29 has a relaxed stability design that allows it to perform advanced maneuvers, such as the Cobra, in which the aircraft pulls up sharply and then quickly drops its nose. The F-16 is also a highly maneuverable aircraft, with a low weight-to-thrust ratio that gives it an excellent acceleration and climb rate. Its fly-by-wire flight control system allows the pilot to make precise maneuvers and control the aircraft's movements at high speeds. However, the F-16's maneuverability is somewhat limited compared to the MiG-29, particularly at low speeds and in tight turns. Overall, the MiG-29 has a reputation for being one of the most maneuverable fighter jets in the world, particularly at low speeds and in dogfight scenarios. The F-16, while still a highly agile aircraft, may not be quite as agile as the MiG-29 in certain situations. Number 4. Radar and Avionics The MiG-29 is equipped with the N019 radar, which has a range of up to 81 to 90 miles. It also has an infrared search and track system, which allows it to detect and track targets based on their heat signatures. The S-16, in contrast, is equipped with the AN-APG-68 radar, which has a range of up to 284 miles. It also has an advanced avionics suite, including a digital flight control system, a heads-up display, and a multifunction display. In terms of avionics, the F-16 has a more advanced avionics suite than the MiG-29, which includes a digital flight control system, a heads-up display, or HUD, and a multifunction display. It also has an advanced radar warning receiver, a countermeasure dispensing system, and electronic warfare capabilities. The MiG-29, on the other hand, has a more basic avionics suite. It has a digital fly-by-wire system, an HUD, but it is not as advanced as the S-16 system. The MiG-29's radar, while effective, is not as advanced as ANAP-68 radar. However, the MiG-29 does have an infrared search and track system, which allows it to detect and track targets based on their heat signatures. Number 5. Armament the MiG-29's primary air-to-air -air missiles are the R-73 and R-27 missiles. The R-73 is a short-range, infrared-guided missile, while the R-27 is a medium-range, radar-guided missile. The MiG-29 can also carry unguided bombs and rockets for air-to-ground attacks. The F-16's primary air-to-air -air missiles are the AIM-120 MRAM and AIM-9 Sidewinder missiles. The AIM-120 MRAM is a medium-range, radar-guided missile, while the AIM-9 Sidewinder is a short-range, infrared-guided missile. The F-16 can also carry a variety of air-to-ground missiles and bombs, including the AGM-65 Maverick missile and the GBU-12 Paveway laser-guided bomb. In terms of guns, the MiG-29 is equipped with a single 30mm GSH-30-1 cannon, while the F-16 is equipped with a single 20mm N-61 Vulcan cannon. Overall, both the MiG-29 and F-16 are well-armed fighter jets, but the F-16 has a wider variety of weapons to engage in air-to-air -air and air-to-ground combat. 
The S-16's AIM-120 AMRAAM missile is considered to be one of the most advanced air-to-air -air missiles in the world, giving it an advantage over the MiG-29's R-73 and R-27 missiles. The S-16's ability to carry laser-guided bombs and advanced air-to-ground missiles also gives it an advantage in ground attack missions. Which is better? If the two fighters are positioned at a medium distance of approximately 40 miles facing towards each other, the F-16 may have an advantage due to its superior radar and avionics, allowing it to detect the MiG-29 first. However, in a dogfight or close combat situation, the MiG-29's super maneuverability may give it an advantage. It is important to note that the pilot's level of tactical planning, response, and ability to cope with the pressures of combat also play a significant role in determining the outcome of the engagement. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Here they go. There goes one. Thud Clover, delete out the future restriction. I copy, delete the altitude restriction. Uh, nobody home at the Eagle will just be dry on the range, though. Yeah, we told them you were coming. We didn't know if you wanted anybody in the tower. Now we don't.